Water is our most essential resource. But today, it's a crisis that underpins everything, from plastic pollution to mass migration. But how is this actually experienced on the ground? Well, everyone meets Supriya, and this is Supriya's daily reality. Because she lives here in Chennai, India's sixth largest city and home to seven million people. Well, this summer, for two months, the city turned off all of its taps because Chennai literally ran out of water. Mm, or rather, it ran out of the right type of water, the second coastal megacity after Cape Town to experience a day zero. And the thing is, Supriya is not alone. Today, two billion people live in countries of similar water stress. With population growth and climate change, the UN estimates that by 2030, this will be half the world. And this is how we're getting water today. It involves consumables, carbon emissions, chemicals, plastic pollution, toxic effluent. Securing water at any cost can no longer be our solution. And this is an industry ripe for disruption. Now, what if we could harness the world's two most abundant resources to produce drinking water? Well, at Desolinator, we use 100% solar power to distill seawater at scale. By using solar in an optimized way, we do away with consumables. So that means no filters, no membranes, no pretreatment chemicals, which means no complicated supply chains and no pollution. Because we use a process of distillation, we're actually also water agnostic. So we can treat a whole range of contaminants, from heavy metals to nitrates to, of course, high salinity, meaning that we future-proof communities to potential changes in the quality of their water source over time. This plug-and-play solution that you see here, we're currently installing in Dubai. And this will produce 25,000 liters of water a day for up to 20 years, or the equivalent of 73 Olympic-sized swimming pools filled with high-quality drinking water over the lifetime of the technology. For the past four years, we've been building a scalable model and growing a team. Between us, we have nine nationalities, speak 10 languages, hold two desalination patents, and have 100 years of expertise in engineering. Our first installation is with the Dubai Water Authority, one of the leading water authorities of the world. And our second deployment is here, in the Sundarbans of West Bengal, where we're working with a community of 5,000 people dealing with saltwater intrusion from our rising sea levels. Funding from the postcode lottery would help support a third critical deployment, allowing us to scale our technology from 25,000 liters a day to 250,000 liters a day. Now, this, of course, would amplify the impact that we could have on the ground, but most significantly, it means that we would be able to deliver water at one US dollar per thousand liters. Now, what would this mean? What would this mean for communities with sunshine and an abundant but unusable water source? Well, for places like Chennai, it guarantees their water supply for up to 20 years. And for people like Supriya, it would give her what we call water independence. The UN estimates that by 2030, half of the world will struggle to access water, our most basic resource. But I am here to tell you today that we are not passive recipients of this future, that we have agency here and now. At Desolinator, we're working towards a better water future for Supriya and for the two billion people like her today. Thank you.